Hey guys, we are here today for part one of the bumper build series that we're doing. There's just so many pieces, so many things that I wanna do that it's just gonna take a lot more time and money than I have to do in one video. So it's gonna be multiple parts. This first one, we've got a new bumper. So we're gonna swap it over and put every piece we need to make it fit up to Elsa, the GTI. And don't mind the continuity error because I just wanted to get it done. To start off this process, I purchased a front bumper cover from eBay. It was half the cost of the OEM one, so I took a chance. It came folded, which surprised me, but apparently that's how non-OEM bumpers do it. We're going to start by removing the old, damaged bumper and swapping over as many good pieces as we can. I've had the car for a bit, so there's a fair amount of small things broken, so I don't anticipate saving any of the trim pieces. You can see some of the damage right there. That's kind of what it looks like on the other side. I think that was actually from the raccoon that I might have hit a while back, but we're gonna just rip that off. Weight reduction. So now my biggest task is getting some of these pieces over. Since we've got, we're gonna go over the very different style and some of these pieces are quite broken i.e. that piece. We're just gonna start with the fog lights. Get them on that. And then we're gonna get that painted. We're gonna paint uh, the bracket that is connected to the cable, the splitter support. We're gonna paint that white. I'm gonna try to salvage this one, pull it off. Maybe put some Bondo on it, paint it. And we gotta get those side markers on there too. That's one thing as well. That front plate, I think we're gonna save for a later date. So it's just the fog light and the side marker. Oh, and the, and the caps. I wanna focus right there. But we're working, we're working, we're making progress. I mean, that came off quite easily if you ask me. It's not hard at all. After more thought, I decided not to save the center trim, but I'm still attempting to save the lower valence. OEM is expensive and they don't make any third party. The fog lights came out nice and easy, but their brackets gave me a bit more trouble. So while figuring out how to get these guys out, I actually broke this one right there. You can see my masterful JB Weld trying to Hold it all together. Didn't realize it was all one piece, and this part right here was still attached. So that was just being brittle, broke. Don't touch that. That is very, very fragile. I mean, it should be fine even without, but I figured I'd attempt it while it's out. So I got that piece out. Old bumpers over there. New bumpers right there. Now I've got to work on detaching the splitter from this rear support piece. That piece goes with it. That looks salvageable. This looks like it should be salvageable. That splitter. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep it around, I guess. Ready to have a fresh looking bumper though. This splitter was actually completely split, so I can't use that again. But now to heat the bumper to bend it back into its general shape. Could be better, could be worse. But I think well, that's not a bad first attempt at trying to get it all pretty uniform. At least it'll clip in. We could always use the heat gun once it's more in place and just bend it exactly where it needs to be. I think that's, I think that's off to a good start. I'm ready to start putting pieces on. So this piece, when I was pulling it off, pulled the other side off just to know how to do it. Oh, and I accidentally broke this piece. You can see it, Let's get some good light on it. Right there, that's some of the best JB welding I've ever done. This holds the fog light. You like, you hold it like this. 
like that. It's like two pieces because that top piece wiggles for some reason. But that's cured. It's not perfect, but it should hold. I mean, it probably would have held without it. So for that fog light, there's that bumper. We're gonna get it all back together. But let me show you something real quick, actually. So when they folded the bumper that you probably saw on mine, I don't know why the GoPro did that. You can see that little clip is bent, and that's bent, and there's some bend up there. I'm gonna try to heat gun that all back into place, so we'll see how that does, and we'll get to it. After repeating myself once the JB Weld secured, I began reassembling the necessary pieces onto the new bumper. The eBay bumper surprised me in how well the pieces fit into place. Getting it onto Elsa took a bit more heat and coaxing, but it eventually fit. With the grill in place, it was time to add the final touch for this episode. And then for the last little piece that we have, we've got this amazing GGI plaid toe strap from ECS Tuning. I'm gonna put it on just as a little bit of an added touch for the interim. It should be functional on and off the track as well, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Let's get it screwed on there. Well, well guys, this does it for part one of, I want you to go down, that's fine. Well, that does it for part one of this new bumper series. I just have to admit, it is gonna be a fair bit piecemealed just because of how much things cost. I mean, this bumper alone was 200 something dollars and this isn't even the OEM one. This is some one off eBay that came folded over here. But that is what it is. We've got some plans for the lower grill right here. I'm not putting the insert in because I plan on cutting it actually to make room for some lights. I've actually got an idea of where to mount the Hella 500s. Thanks to Noah at Risky Garage. You're the man, thank you for that. But that does it for part one. I mean, we've got a new bumper, there's no holes. It's, it's looking pretty good if you ask me, it just needs to be painted. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Have a great day. These intros are getting, or outros are getting so long. Please check out our Patreon and remember Jesus loves you. Bye.